Okay, hello my viewer people. Happy May 22nd. We're all still alive. Yes. Alright, I'm going to do a Chapter 3 speedrun tutorial for you right now. From Checkpoint A, which is the beginning of the chapter. I have a feeling that this is going to be a very long video because Chapter 3 is, well, there's a lot of different paths in a lot of different places of this chapter, and I'd like to show you as many as I can. So, I'm, this might take a while. It might. Who knows? I know. I don't know, because I haven't done it yet. Someone knows. I just skipped that cutscene. So, this is actually a pretty hard speed run, but knowing some shortcuts is really going to help you. Because I remember when I first tried this speedrun, I was having a lot of trouble. And the first time I did it, I beat it by like a second, and I was really happy. It was cool. But, uh, yeah, knowing some shortcuts will definitely help you. So, hopefully this will help you, because I'll be showing you a lot of shortcuts. So, let's get started. At the beginning. Also, I don't think I've said this in the last two videos. I don't remember. Or maybe, like, I don't know. I don't know when the last time I said this was. But I like to do side jump boosts like that. And there's a link in the description to a video that I made that describes it. So that's, yeah, good thing I remember this time. There's a couple things you can do just right here. One, you can go fast and run on the side of the fence like that and then over to here. And the other, yes, I'm going to try to go moderately quickly. But yeah, the other, you can go this way, speed vault over the fence and run this way. And they're both probably, probably the same. So do what you want and then run this way. And try uh, instead of jumping off here and rolling, whoa, the sun actually reflects off of there. I didn't know that. Not very observant. I am not. I am. Okay. Um, I'll, you can do go to this wall and do a wall run kick, and you can land down here without having to roll. So that's useful. I suggest doing that. And like I said in the Burfield time trial, if you want, you can run this way and go on top of the billboard over here, right here. Run on top of this over to the building. But that's definitely not the fastest way to do it. So I don't think you should do that. Uh, what you should do is run this way. Just run off the building like this. Run over here and grab and jump and grab this pipe. And if you miss it, well, you can just climb up the pipe and you know jump to it. But I, you really should not miss this because it takes a while to climb up here. But yeah, let's just pretend that I just jumped here and I, and I grabbed it just right here from up there. And then you can jump off the side to get up here a little faster. And it usually happens better than that. And you know, I completely failed at this, so I'm going to show it again. From the beginning, well, the middle. Alright, right here. Did I, uh, I'm failing. I'm failing. That was a fail. Big fail right there. Well... I'm sure you've seen that, so whatever. That's what you can do. And in chapter 4, well, on the speedrun tutorial I did yesterday, I mentioned, or I was talking about how you can do side steps off of wall climbs like that by holding both analog sticks to the left or right and pressing jump. Or on, on PC, I guess you hold A or D and press jump while you're wall climbing. Uh, but you can do that here to get up this. So that's, and then turn back. Well, you have to be at full speed and go like all the way up. But uh, this works. Yeah, and then turn back towards the building so you can grab onto it like that. So that's one way you can get up there. It's probably faster than this way. I'm going to show you because uh, for this way you actually have to run to the back. But you can do a wall run turn jump, wall climb turn jump here. And then I, you can land on this box, or not this box, this box. And you can speed vault up to here. So that's a couple things you can do. And depending on which one of those you do, well, that'll kind of determine which one of these ways you should do. There's just two ways to do this part that I'm going to show you. It's the sun again. Hi, sun. Oh, hi, sun. And if you do the second way, you go this way. This is like the normal path where you jump to here and then you jump to here and you just kind of run this way and jump down to this vent and then go over there. But instead of going down there, whoa, okay, I'm not sure just how I just fell. Um, I'll show you the other way now. There's also a checkpoint right here, so if I didn't get that, I'd be all the way back at the beginning over there, so it's a good thing I did. Um, so if you go the other way, if you do the sidestep off of a wall climb over here, you can run this way, you can like jump onto these things and then jump and get a speed vault up here. And now this next shortcut, shortcut is really awkward. 
And but it's kind of cool, and I'll see if I can get. It. I've done it a few times today because I was trying to practice it. But I don't know. But go full speed. You'll have to use reaction time for this. But you kind of run off the edge of the building and then turn back towards the building, and you can get back on it like that. Kind of go around the fence. It's pretty easy uh, once you get used to it, but it is really awkward. So just make sure that you don't actually touch the fence, kind of run off the side and then turn. Because usually when I fail, it's because I kind of hit the fence a little bit, and then I ended up going too far outwards. And Yeah, that's a dangerous shortcut, and it's really awkward, but it's probably worth doing. And if you do that, you can jump down to there. Or you could jump to the vent and then run down to here so you don't have to roll, but I don't know. Okay, now I'm going to show you there's a couple ways to do this part other than the normal path. The normal path is to go over to there, do a wall run, turn jump on that wall. There's a swinging bar between these two vents on, in the air and you can swing up to the building. There's a couple things you can do that are not that way. One of which, I'll try to show this one because it's a little harder for me. Um, and that is, when you get onto this, you can go to this way and do a wall run jump and then a really quick wall climb, turn jump, and you can actually get above this. And you have to be careful since this thing is right above you and it's, it'd be easy to hit that. So I'll see if I can get this. I have gotten this a bunch of times, but it's, it's always really r weird. So, no. Yeah, like that. And you can get up here. And if you do that... You can jump onto this thing and then speed vault up to this and then run over to there. So that is another really awkward shortcut, but if you can do it, that's pretty good. So, And it's just weird. Um, when you do that, let's see, I guess you do the wall run and then jump, and then I guess you try to get a wall climb kind of as far to the edge as this as you can, but if you go too far to the edge, you won't wall climb there. So, uh, And also make sure that your wall climb is really short before you turn and jump. And this just really takes a little bit of practice, but that's kind of cool. And the other way to do this is to jump onto the thing on the wall here, and then you do a wall run, and then you jump up to the vent the vent thing here, whatever that is. And then you can grab onto that and climb up. And I, I think I hit the mic again. Uh, but you probably didn't hear that since... Well, you might have heard it. Whatever. And when you do this, when before you jump off the wall climb angle a little bit to the right, so that you get some more height. Rhyme. That was a rhyme. Uh, so I guess if I have reaction time, I'll use that just to make it a little easier on myself. Yeah. Oh, as long as I land on it. Nah, waste of reaction time. Okay. Now let's do it without reaction time. Alright. <sighs> okay. So now let's do this. Also make sure you coil so you don't actually get a wall run there which might mess you up. But yeah, so just like I showed you. And also if you did the awkward shortcut over there where you run around the fence and then back onto the building, you won't have reaction time for this, so just make sure you can do this without reaction time too. Well that sentence audible, I think I said that too fast. I'm trying to be careful with that. But yeah, just make sure you can do this without reaction time, just in case. So. If I get up this way, I like to go to the left here and then climb up this building. Um, I can jump on top of something, which doesn't really save any time. But, you know. So, yeah, that, that was the first part of the level. So now I'll go through the door. And here, you can just do a wall run turn jump to get up this. You could also do a wall climb turn jump if you want. Just don't grab, try not to grab onto the edge here, which you can grab onto. Uh, but, yeah, then slide through this. And then slide through the vent as much as you can. And then when you fall down this... Since you're falling straight down, remember that you can kick, and when you land, you won't have to roll. So just press the attack button, you'll, you'll kind of kick, and then you won't have to roll. You'll get hurt, but it won't be a heavy landing. There's also a runner bag right here, in case you want to know. So go through this thing sideways, and go this way. And then don't go up the stairs, because they don't really go anywhere. Just end. But do a wall climb turn jump here, and go over the railing. Make sure you coil also. A gas can and home security equipment and it's authorized cool all right that was yeah just kind of go through this you can do side jump boost boost to help you go through the corners just uh, be careful not to hit stuff because there's a lot of stuff you can hit while doing that and go into this vent and then go through the vent 
I walk funny while I'm crouched. Alright, and right here I like to hold crouch just to make sure you know, I go through that as quick as possible. And there's a cutscene here, which I'm going to skip. When you get here, grab the gun. And when I show you the fast way, this will come in kind of handy. The normal way to do this room is you kind of, you can climb up these fountains and then uh, jump into there and uh, then you can wall run over to there and then you can go across and you can do a springboard there which I'll show you because I'll get up there the other way. And But then you go up there and you can break through the window and swing across the bars here, go in there and actually I'll just show you that part because there's a checkpoint up there. I just can't show you the first part after I show you the fast way. Uh, but yeah. The fast way is to use this chair here as a springboard, and while, during the springboard animation, turn to the right and aim for this light. Another rhyme. I'm rhyming a lot today. Oh, yeah, but land on top of the light, and when you do, do a wall climb turn jump, and then turn so you grab onto the railing. This is not the easiest shortcut in the world, but it's not that hard once you practice it a while. Um, so, like, I don't get it every time like that, but... I think I'm used to it enough so that I get it most of the time, like that. And it's really not that hard, just practice it for a while and you'll get it eventually. And then when you do that, continuing the fast way, do the same kind of thing here, but turn to the left during the springboard animation, and then do a wall climb turn jump, and grab onto the railing up there. So, this one's a little bit easier, like that. And then also if you have the gun, shoot the glass twice so you can go through it. And also, you can shoot doors open with this to save a little bit of time. And I'm going to die real fast and just show you the end of the normal path. Because I can. There are a lot of paths. I'm just kind of showing the main normal path. Make sure this glass is broken. And when you get up here, just swing across these. And do a wall climb turn jump here. To get up above this. And then run this. And now you're back up to the top of the fast way. So, remember if you have the gun, you can shoot open doors. So, that can be kind of useful. Just run this way. Um, this guy can hit you if you're too close to him, so be careful of that. And just kind of hurry through this. Yeah, you might get shot. You also get blinded here. So, but it doesn't really hurt you at all. So, And do the springboard over the huge gap here. And slide under this. Sliding is the, actually the fastest thing you can do here. I think you can climb over that, but it really doesn't help you. To, it, well, it's not faster. And you can shoot this door open if you have the gun still. But if you have the gun, and uh, on this next part there's a pipe in this elevator shaft, and you can let go of the pipe early, and then do like a vertical kick while you're dropping to land on the bottom without having to roll. If you have the gun still, you'll just shoot instead of kicking, and then you'll get a heavy landing, so be careful of that. And here you can either run forward and then slide down the pole, or you can uh, kind of go slowly and then grab onto the pole like halfway down, and then you can let go if it's the right distance, and then just land, you know, like, yeah, like this, and then you can let go, and kick, and you won't have to, you won't get a heavy landing. So that's a good thing to do, uh, but remember if you have the gun, you won't be able to kick during the fall. Alright, so get up here, and then go to the left, and also if you still have the gun, you can shoot this open. Just so you know. Now we're at the heat time trial, I think. And remember that if you want to, you can go up here and use the zip line, but it's really not faster at all than the other way. So I'm not just I'm just not going to show it because that way's I don't know. It's not really faster at all, even though it seems like it should be. It's, it isn't. But yeah, just run this way, and especially because the zip line ends right there, so it's not like it's a lot of place room stuff. Okay, when you're here, there's a couple things you can do. One of them is to climb on top of this. And then just jump to the building. Don't coil, because you'll, you'll get up there like that. And then you can run this way and go over there. Um, there's another way I'm going to show you now. And that's when you're over here. Run this way. You can slide under the second one here. And then you can do a wall run angle to the right. And you can jump over this barbed wire fence. Like that. And then the normal path, obviously, is just to run down to there and climb up this. And yeah. So, also there's a couple, things you, you, a couple ways you can do this part. Um, one of them is you can take the zip line and then let go of it and do a wall climb turn jump here and coil so you go over the fence and then you can climb up here. And then the other way is to not take the zip line, jump off this roof over the gap this way, 
go over here. I'll use reaction time just to show this while I explain it. But you can wall run here and then jump and get onto this vent. And uh, careful not to fall off. Uh, okay, I fell off. But then from there you can climb onto the building. So I'll, f I'll see if I can show that. I think this way might be faster. Oh, I'm way back here. But I'm not really sure. So I'll just kind of... I'll show it. Yeah, so you're running this way. You can just slide under this. It's a pretty fast slide though, so that's good. Jump over this. Run this way. Jump over the gap this way. And I'll use reaction time again just for fun. You can get a speed vault on this. Oh, I'm probably going to fall off again. Dang it. Stay on. Stay on. Aww. Alright. Whatever. Well, it's... Oh, well, whatever. When you get on that, you can climb up the building. So that's a good thing to know. And then the normal path is to go this way. and you. I already, I already showed the others, so I'll just show this one. But you can, you can climb up here, and then go onto this vent, and up to here. And then coil jump up to this. And then when you're up here, instead of doing the springboard on this, you can just jump on top of this box and then coil jump up to here. I didn't do it right. But that's another thing you can do. Whatever. You can do that, or the springboard. And then run this way. And I'm going to show this next part fast because it's really easy to die. But I, I like to land on this and then just run this way. And then I don't do it this way in my speed run, just so you know. But you can run this way. And then jump on top of this, uh, do a wall climb, and do a sidestep, and get up there, and um, get up fast like that. I hope that was clear enough, because I'm going to do it a little bit different this time. Whew. Man, I'm trying to go through this fast, and it's not easy to talk fast like this. But the other way is, you don't have to fight here. So this is ways that where you don't fight. It's to just run this way, and then wall climb up to this pipe, and then climb all the way up it. So, the first way I showed you is faster, so uh, if you can do that, it's actually easier too. As long as you're good at doing the wall climb and then sidestepping off of the little square thing I jumped off of. So that's cool. Um, also, instead of doing the springboard on the left side here, go to the right and you can just wall climb up this. And then go through there. And also, if you still have the gun here, you can shoot this door open too. And I think that's... I think you might have one bullet left after that, so... And also, there's a runner bag over here, somewhere, like right here, I think, somewhere, somewhere around here. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> throat. Okay. Sorry, I, I would really like to go through that slowly just to show it better, but hopefully, those those two ways that I talked about were descriptive enough. And here's some cool words to read. The newest threat to children. Running. Are your children safe? Is your radio transmitting secret messages? Find out what you should know. Five signs someone you know might be a runner. Telltale scuff marks on their clothes. Unexplained scrapes, bruises, or broken bones. Unreliable or unexplained absences from work or school. Calluses on the palm, knuckle, or fingertips. A fondness for the color red. So. Yeah, I like red. Does that make me a runner? But I don't have unexplained broken bones. Not that I know of. So, that's probably my favorite elevator writing, if you like to read, but who likes to read? Okay, so when you get out here, I think I'm actually going to show you a shortcut here that requires the kick glitch. So, and that is, instead of going down there, you just kind of skip all that, you go this way, and here you do a wall climb and then sidestep, and then, um, and you land on this thing that's next to me. You do a wall run from that. And let's see if I can actually get it. I actually have not tried this in an extremely long time. So you'll have to forgive me if this takes a while. But remember, you can uh, you can wall run after that sidestep if you keep pressing jump. And it's not working for me right now. So let's see if I can get this over another. But yeah, you get on that. And then you jump to this one. You can jump over this fence here. Oh. Is there another way I can get over this fence since that's not working for me well? Oh, wow. Okay, I'm going to get this and show you it, and then, so just, just hold on, hold on a minute, hold your horses, or your pants, or both, one with each hand, hold the, hold the horse's reins with one hand, and your pants, keep your pants on with the other hand, and we'll get through this. 
So why am I not while running? Okay, whatever. <sighs> Alright, I'm, I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this. Or or something bad. Oh, see, oh, I got the wall run there, but I wasn't high enough. Alright. Okay. This is going to happen. Let's use reaction time. Maybe it'll help. I used that really early. Whatever. Up. Jump. Wall run. I didn't wall run. I didn't sidestep. Alright. Wait, get on the other side of the fence. I'm gonna show it. Somehow. Even if I have to jump onto this door and... Uh... Okay, I'll be right back. Alright, when you get on this, jump to the other one. And then wall run and jump over the fence. There you go. You land on this, and then go over to this next building. Which is, this is kind of like an out of the map glitch, almost. But then run across this building. And then do a wall run kick off of this building and land on the scaffolding over there. And that's most of the way through the whole scaffolding section. You just kind of run straight, and you go off of a springboard, and you just kind of follow the scaffolding, and you get up to the crane really fast. I'm just saying that, because I'm going to try the kick glitch, but it's probably not going to happen for me. Yeah, I didn't even wall run. <laughs> okay, but I, I showed it to you, and... I don't feel like trying that again. I mean, I got it like 30 seconds after I said I'd be right back, but um, I, I, I actually told you about a kick glitch shortcut because it's a cool one, and I don't I'm, I wouldn't do it in an online speed run, but it's a cool one. And then the, the other ways is when you get on here, jump down to the building from here, and then speed vault over this, and then the, the fast way is to go this way and then jump from the very edge of this building over to here. That's a big jump. You actually have to jump from like the very edge and you have to be at full speed. Jump straight to here and you can grab onto this. And when you do that, wall run jump here. And so you land on this and then jump over the fence. And I'm going to try not to... Go, I'm not going over the fence just because I don't want to trigger a checkpoint just yet. Um, I'm going to die. So I'm hopefully I'll respawn back at the top or like the beginning of this so I can show like... In case you missed that, you know, just... Okay. Wait, I can just jump to here. Duh. Duh. Duh, I failed. But yeah, this is like one of the cranes time trials. You have to make this jump. So I know it's, I know it's possible. And jump to here. Alright, I didn't even coil. Okay, but the other way is when you get down here, go over the fence. Try to make this jump. If you miss it, you'll land down on this, so you don't really have to worry about dying. But you try to roll if you miss it. So just run this way. Whoa. Oh, dang it, helicopter. You're, I'm, I'm floating in the air. You just made me gr have supernatural powers while I was dying. Why couldn't I have that while I was living? Okay, but yeah, you'll land down on this. I don't want to roll, because then I might fall off. But you go this way. Please don't kill me, helicopter. And you just kind of go this way. And you'll probably want to run to the edge of the building like I did. Oh, dang it. <laughs> I'm floating in the air again, but you can't see it because, well, I might have been. I don't know. It's kind of cool how you uh, you can float if you die. But you can kind of climb up this from there. I, you know, I don't know why I ran all the way to there. But when you get onto there, just climb up this, and then you can coil jump up here. So that's the ways to do that. Now, died again. Stupid helicopter. I don't like you. Now I'm going to show you the next part. Scaffolding sections. So don't do the wall run here. Just coil jump and make it down here. Um, when I'm falling, I like to turn to the right and then to the left, just so I avoid grabbing on anything. Like, you know, like that. And then, wall run jump up to this. And now there's one shortcut you can do here, which I'll try to show, which I have not done this in forever, so I might miss. But you can jump onto this, and then you can jump off and get up here. And that should have worked. Alright. Oh yeah, that worked. But yeah, then you get up here, and then you can run this way, and just follow the scaffolding up to the top. So that way might be faster than the other way, but I have never timed it, and I really don't know, and I don't care. The other way is more epic, and it's all about how epic things are in this game. So let me die, just so I know I appear back at the beginning of the scaffolding. This way is much more epic, and epic things are the best. Dang it. 
Dang it. <sighs> okay, I need to get to the beginning somehow. Can I load the checkpoint over here, even though I already have a further checkpoint uh, loaded? What the heck? Faith, can't you just land on a little tiny pole that's, you know, 20 stories above the street? I could do that in my sleep while I'm sleeping. Alright, let's get down here. Not, don't run backwards. I barely even touched the analog stick. That doesn't mean run, that means walk. Learn your own controls, Faith. Learn your own controls. Okay, again. I'm gonna, if I can't get down here, I might just restart. Because I think there's a, one of the checkpoints, big checkpoints is like right here, so. Whoa, don't jump. Go in here. Alright. So the other way, from there, as you go, you should probably jump to like the middle of this pole and try to jump again when you land on it. And there's a checkpoint right here, which hopefully will load. Go up this way. And I'm just going to show the epic fast way here. Um, go right here. Get full speed. Make sure you're at full speed. Turn so you don't lose speed. And then jump all the way across. So you get to here. That actually worked well. Then you can jump right up to here. To the crane. Um, but I'm not completely done here yet. So Those are the two fast ways that I just showed you up here. So I suggest... Doing those. The other ways, uh, you just kind of follow the scaffold. I don't know where I am. Well, I know where I am, but I don't know if it's the normal way. Uh, you end up going this way. And I just want to show this because of how... This is my favorite enemy in the game. Right here. Hello. Yep. Yeah. Up. Uh, up. Uh, uh, there's a car. Oh, I almost hit you. Ooh. That's my favorite enemy in the game. Just, it's fun to punch him off. There's something about punching people off buildings that's just really awesome. So, alright, I showed you the two fast ways. This is just like the normal way. Because the two fast ways are, I don't know, you probably don't need them. But since this shortcut is so hard, it would probably be good to know them. Um, so going the normal way, you can jump to here, and then jump up to the crane and climb up the ladder. Uh, where you, you, I think, where do you show up if you, yeah, when you do one of the fast ways, you, you get end up wall running and getting up here. So yeah, do the exact same thing if you go the fast ways. So, just do this. And there you go. And then you climb up the crane. And you can jump off the, uh, the side of the ladder to avoid the animation of climbing up. And you run this way. Be really careful here, careful here, because it's easy to jump and get caught on this edge and then not make it to there. So just be careful on this crane. I mean, that's actually messed up lots of my speedruns on this chapter. Okay, and then jump to here. And when you go to the pad here, what you should do is jump, turn around, do the finger thing by pressing the attack button after you turn around, and you can slide while you're after you land and kind of control yourself and move this way. There's also a runner bag up there on this on this crane. You have to jump to the ladder and climb up there. But yeah, that's the end of the level. You go through this door, and that's it. And then I think yeah, when you go through it, the door the chapter ends. So I, I like to turn around and jump off the building. I just died. But I beat the level, so it doesn't matter. That's chapter 3. This is a long video. I'm sorry. And it's not, it's not like it's a long chapter. It's just there's so many things you can do. And I showed you, I think I showed you all of them. I don't know if I missed anything. I hope I didn't miss anything, though. Um, so thanks for watching. Uh, in my chapter 8 speedrun, I think people were suggesting that I show the full speedrun at the end of these. And I would do that, but I know a lot of people don't really, don't really like the super long videos, and I think seeing the time limit might just make them not want to watch it. So if you want to see the speed run, I have all I have speed runs of all the chapters done. I mean, I don't use all the shortcuts that I showed you because some of them I just didn't know about them back then because I recorded them so long ago. Um, and I don't there's no commentary, but still there's a speed run if you want to see it there. And um, I don't want these videos to be too long. This is going to be like a 30 minute video, you know, longer, whatever. Uh, but there's so much you can do in this chapter. So if you watched all of this, thank you. And yeah, that's chapter three is hard. So good luck on it. There's lots of shortcuts you can do though. So just practice them. You'll get it soon enough. So thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you in chapter one. Just have one in the prologue left. And then the pure time trials when the PlayStation Store is back up. 
So I'm starting the Portal 2 thing soon. We'll should be done in between those if there's like a gap or something. So, all right. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Thanks again.